ما شفت الخدامه مو عدله او اشوفها ترقص لي بالتيك توك لا كذا لا كذا يا مدام من شغل البس ملابس زاقينتي يا ام لا انت كذابه بانو ما بانو ما بانو ما بانو يا بوما بانو عندي خدامه ليش سبب ما احبها ما احبها ايش ان كيس ان كيس اف يو دونت نو ما بانو يا قوي كوا تيك توك وي كنا ما بانو يعني ما بانو كات يا ويغورو ويتيتو نا خدامه هما شغاله سو يو جايز If you don't know, just keep on following here. I want to update you also on what is going on or what really transpired to all these stories. So, kuna vita kali. Sio vita za ngumi, but you know kuna vita pale mtandao wa TikTok. And uh, all this started when a channel like who should I call it a channel? Let me just call it a channel or maybe someone Let me, okay let me just use this word kuna channel fulani kwa TikTok kama kuna mse fulani kwa TikTok ako na account and that guy is going around like ni, I think ni Mwarabu so is going around interviewing people on issue ya kadama like kuna penda wafanye kazi all those stuff so it happened that watu wana respond you know people are responding differently kuna wenye tu wako positive especially wanaume wako tu sawa na wafanye kazi like they explain what the housemates do they appreciate their jobs you know but the ladies what wanawake ni zi so what happened this this lady mwenye alisema yeye apende wafanye kazi sijui anajifanyia kazi yake ana mahabe kadama unajua hizo vitu zote hapendi Mwingine naye akasema aliingia kwa TikTok akapata msichana wake wa kazi anafanya TikTok na nguo zake na amevaa pia na nguo za mtoto wao. So, now this is the war. Because you know in TikTok like you have an opportunity to either stitch like to stitch is to cut short your video in your original and now you continue with yours. Zime stitch your mob and you also can also do it that video. So mingi ni stitches. I don't want to post any here but you can go on TikTok and check. But I am here to analyze and to tell you what I really think and all this story. So all these things kuna wasichana wengi sana makadama wengi wame respond kwa history wanaume wengi wa arabu wame respond kwa history and you know what let me start with the first lady because sijaweza kusikiza mingi but i'm talking about wenye nimeona the first lady that was saying like anachukia wafanyikazi sijua anachukia makadama all the stuff okay for me i don't know why you should hate people unajua like kuna reasons mingi sana zinaweza fanya mtu asipende kukuwa na mfanyikazi but in this case this lady was not saying like apendi kukuwa apendi like awapendi unajua apendi wafanyikazi apendi ma housemaid it's like ako na kitu kingine kwa mind yenye inamsababisha kusema kwamba hapendi like she didn't give the reason but anasema oh sijui yeye anafanya kazi zake sijui nini 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 so ameingililiwa na wafanyikazi wanamwambia si useme una pesa pesa ndo hauna ungekuwa na pesa ungekuwa na wafanyikazi you know so things ni vitu ni mingi zenye zinaendelea kwa ground things are so many but i am also proud of the man or the, maybe the gentleman when you come through na kusema wafanyikazi wanatusaidia kwa nyumba ukileta mfanyikazi kwa nyumba yako she will be like the mother of that family you know there are so many people or so many gentlemen who are appreciating the work that the housemaids do but for the ladies i don't know where they fail i don't know why some have like should i call it like a dark heart like they have that bitterness in them i don't know why And now to talk about the other one anasema ho sijui mfanye kazi sijui unafanya nini sijui unavaa nguo za madam sijui na kuona tiktok sijui nini nini and others even end up taking the phones of the housemates you know what um i know nowadays vitu ni mingi zimetokea like nowadays we have online shopping we have all that stuff and it's still it ni lazima ushinde kuambia waiguru nataka nguo nataka hii because waiguru kimtuma atenda kukuletea oversize waiguru kimtuma hata kuletea kitu yenye wewe mwenyewe unataka hata kuletea kitu anata, anataka but now if you end up ordering online unajua unajichagulia size yenye unataka unajichagulia kitu yenye unataka so maybe most of them wakikuona they want to create that story kwamba unachukua gango zao na ku na kuvaa So one thing ningependa kuchanua madem. I najua sisi ni wengi wenye pengine tumekuwa tukioda online but sometimes vitu kaa hizi huwa zina happen. Ama kitu kaa in case kikuwa peni yako how can you prove that hiyo nguo ni yako? Because unajua online hatuna garizit. 
online hata receipts zikiletwa tunatupa online hata hiyo information kiletwa invoice kiletwa you just throw it how can you prove that hiyo nguo ni kweli ni yako na ni wewe uliona because wewe gura naweza kuamilia na sema ni yako it's simple kuna invoice yenyewe unatumia go kwa email wakati ume order or maybe if you go to your order list kwa hiyo shop yenye ume order you go to your profile you go to your orders you will see every order that you've ever ordered there so ni vizuri usiwe unazidelete ama usiwe unabandilisha apps kila wakati ama ku delete na kuinstall tena because the moment you delete to install tena hiyo story hiyo ni yoyote wewe unapotea i did that once and i saw it so i just want to advise you guys because maybe you know ni kawaida ku order vitu it's all, it's it's normal like we all want to wear things nice things but by the end of it unapata kuna watu wenye hawataka to buy kuna watu tu wanataka tu kai tu wenye wao wenyewe wanataka so what can you do keep those receipts keep those invoices zenye mnatumiwa kwa email usifute usizipeleke mahali just keep them you never know what is awaiting for you uko mbele mbele unaona so that is something that i would also want to say but again speaking of sijui aliona mfanyikazi wake amevangua sijui aliona mfanyikazi wake amevangua za mtoto wake asisemi kwamba kuna watu wawavai na sisemi kwamba alikuwa amedanganya ama alikuwa right but what also i want to say is to respect ngoza wa guru to respect via to to respect just everything to do with them by the way you don't know where this thing can land you in you know you don't know inaweza kukulanda wapi because you see tuna tuko na hiyo like sisi ndo tunapiga nguo pasi most of the times they go na tunaonaga like kwa wakati watu wengi wanapiga pasi hapo ndo wanapata time ya kufanya ma tiktok zona kila kitu sio vibaya kufanya tiktok but just make sure that you are doing your tiktok in the right way just make sure that mali unafanya tiktok yako na chenye umevaa ni kitu mtu aisee mama akaku question like mbona una unajua like un, you ju- just try to cut that that do yenye inasababisha kwamba eti inaweza kufanya upate picha mbaya kutoka kwa waiguru ama kuwekele vitu zenye hujafanya that will be so so nice you know so kumekuwa na issues nyingi kumekuwa na vita mingi and you know something that nilikuwa nafikiria na ninacheka ni kwamba huyu mwanamke angejua ataonge hiyo kitu alafu ikuwe reacted venye imekuwa reacted i'm very sure like 100% percent your mom she wouldn't have spoken because amekuwa respond like what wengi wame respond kwa hiyo kitu wengi wame stitch mpaka wanaume wanaongelea hii kitu mpaka wanawake wengine mtu anakuja na clorox like anamwambia hii ni clorox hii ni candles juu hii ni charcoal juu hii ni nini endo ikunywe ndo zioshe roho yako ikwe cha ikwe safi you know like It is coming so clear that kuna watu wako na hizo roho mbaya but by the end of the day unajua akukosagi watu wazuri na wabaya wazuri bado wapo ni vile tu atujaza kutambua wazuri ni kina nani wabaya ni kina nani but now we just pray like everything will just be okay kila kitu taendelea na tunakuwa poa but i just wanted to tell you guys this tujitunge If you order something online hakikisha uko na hiyo evidence ya kuproof kwamba ni yako. Waiguru wakianza kusema ho sijuli ni bias sijuli fanya nini sijuli chukua you have something to prove na kumwambia ni yangu ndo hii hapa. So unapata haizi akakulaumu, haizi akakupeleka mahali. But kama nguo ni wewe unakoshwa kabisa ni wewe uliorder and you have nothing to prove that that cloth is yours. Huyo mtu hakuna mali haizi akakupeleka. So let's just begin tujiangalie, tujichunge na pia hizo evidences, hizo vitu, hizo receipts once more da kitu ebu hakikisha hiyo kitu umeiweka. If it's possible just keep it. Maybe you don't know for the future use or maybe for something. So eh si msaidio mwanamke ku trend. Huyo <laughs> mwanamke mmemtrendisha kweli. But you know what? It's part of life. Na ni vizuri pia kujua venye watu wako ndio tujua venye tunaishi na wao ndio. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for everything. Thank you for following up and si tuendelee ku subscribe, tuendelee ku like, tuendelee ku share na pia put on your post notification bell and let's meet in the next video. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.